So I don't know who else does uh, image galleries. I've been using one that was based on f using Flickr as the data source, um, but it appears to have been retired. Um, so I'm interested to see the one that Stuart's about to show because it's both an S3 as a data source and Flickr as a data source. So, um, yeah, might add that in. Um, but, um, different image galleries with varying degrees of success. Ignite Gallery is my current go to, thing. that was uh, recommended by Nikki actually. Basically, the um, as Patrick indicated, I had a, a particular need and I put a post out looking for an image gallery that handled uh, storing images on Amazon S3. Um, uh, it came about with. Greg uh, Gaffney and the BMW Motorbike Club where they had a lot of um, images of old rallies and things like that where if you stick them on the web server it it's, does a number of things, slows things down, um, takes a lot more to back up and generally um, you know all, all of those things are a bit more expensive whereas stashing them out on S3 they're easier to manage, um, cheaper to, to maintain and what have you. But I couldn't find a gallery that uh, actually served our purpose and was in the, in the throes of deciding to actually write a component which did that when I found the most under described or poorly described uh, gallery module component um, in the Joomla extension gallery, which actually did exactly what we wanted it to do. So it, it's, it's a I'll just share my screen. So the, we can see that. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. So basically it's a, it's a component called um, event gallery. And the, the, the name sort of doesn't really represent what it, it what it's about, but essentially it was and and its description in the, in the um, extension directory wasn't that clear either. But I sort of happened to investigate it, and um, it turns out that it has this nice um, uh, S3 capability built in. So essentially, um, when you configure it, an event is a gallery. So as it turns out, for Greg's purposes, for the BMW Motorcycle Club, they were actually um, event-based galleries. Um, so they've got this Cane Toad Rally for 2004, another one for 2003, another one for 2020, another one for 2001, uh, some general, uh, and so on. So each, um, each gallery, uh, um, is represented in S3 in a folder. So you can have a one bucket only um, and um, create a folder which represents the, uh, the gallery. Now, unfortunately, the, this is the one sort of um, thing which I hope to speak to the developer and see if you can change. You can only have one level deep of folder. So we had to be a bit cunning and name our, um, our gallery folders uh, with a convention that would make them sortable and easy to navigate. So instead of having a folder called Cane Toad and then a subfolder called 2004 and then all of the 2004 events, we had to have Cane Toad-2004-Dorigo, Cane Toad-2003-Canya Gorge, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a bit of a minor um, inconvenience, but it works nonetheless. So um, inside each gallery, you can have, um, uh, it basically uh, shows all of the individual folders, uh, sorry, the individual images. Um, and basically each image can have its own um, details and so on. So it's a reasonably, uh, um, simple process to have a look at the, um, at the images that are in the gallery. You can upload an image. Uh, 
why those buttons are not showing there very nicely. I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, so you can actually upload files from here directly uh, into this folder to Amazon S3. Um, and one of the other nice things it does is uh, allows you to synchronize. So you can actually put images directly into the folder uh, and then run a synchronization process where, whereby it says, I've got a new folder which has appeared, I've got new images in that folder, and it synchronizes and creates them, creates the gallery based on a folder name and creates all the, sh the thumbnail images uh, based on the um, images which are in the folder. So for example, if I just go to the sync database, you can see that it's loaded the various um, folders which are available up on Amazon S3 in our bucket. Um, it's actually said that there is nothing, nothing much to do here. We can sync a folder at a time or we can sync all folders. So if I sync this one here, it basically says no images that it's found that don't already exist in the gallery. So if we put an image directly into Amazon S3 into that folder, uh, it would it would find the image, um, create the, the necessary image uh, in the gallery, uh, and then you can um, sync the images within the events as well. So if it finds a new folder, it, it shows up in the um, in the folder sync and creates the folder as a gallery, and then you can sync the images within each folder. And also it can create thumbnails. So it creates a whole lot of thumbnails uh, on the fly um, uh, for different sized uh, devices. So it can look a little bit messy, um, but once you get your head around um, what it's doing behind the scenes in Amazon, um, if I can just find that folder, just bear with me. And I haven't got access to the that bucket right at the moment. But basically, um, if we were to upload an image, it would create all of the thumbnails and and. Uh, we can create, sorry, we can create the thumbnails or upload them manually to the system and it would synchronize um, that on the fly. So essentially it's it's reasonably straightforward. It is it has got a lot of other functionality. Some of the, um, the things uh, that it's designed for is for selling images from events. So you can actually, um, uh, take orders and, and put prices and watermarks and various other things on top of the um, on top of the um, photos for sale. So it's got quite a lot of functionality, all of which I didn't need for this purpose, but it's uh, it's there in the background. So Essentially, um, you can manage the events. Um, you can see in here we've got six galleries or events. We've got 149 Im images. Um, we've got five empty carts because we were testing some stuff. Um, you can put watermarks, you can create categories um, and, and so on. Now in Greg's case, he wanted a very simple um, display of the uh, cane toad images, and so we just inserted a module uh, in his um, in his page here with a with an image, and it basically just shows the images in a fairly simple way. There's a lot of choices in terms of how the gallery is laid out, um, but basically this is the the simplest uh, simplest layout that we could find. 
but, but it displays the thumbnails quite quickly. Um, obviously, um, uh, from S3 directly and loads the images um, you know, reasonably quickly. So in terms of functionality, it does all that we sort of had expected of it um, at, uh, at, uh, without having to, to do anything too uh, dramatic. So it didn't take too much to configure. Basically, you've got um, uh, your standard configuration. This is just the free version. There's a pro version which allows for more, um, more functionality, more different um, uh, options for um, event sources and so on. Um, but for our purposes, that's all we, we needed it was really um, just for the basic S3 images. Um, there's lots of lots of uh, options around the cart. Um, and the storage. So this is where we set the um, Amazon S3 bucket. Um, and um, whereabouts it's located. So you can only set one bucket, um, and as I said, the the that, that that's not usually a downside. Um, but um, the non-nesting of folders was um, was caught me not caught me out, but I played around with it to see if I could make it work with um, with uh, nested folders to start with, and then then uh, realised that you'd only have one. Uh, one level deep of folder within that bucket. But other than that, it's fairly straightforward um, to uh, to operate and uh, get up and running. Um, and basically, the extended version features include um, a few extra options, which you know, like payment plugins and carts and stuff and stuff that we didn't actually didn't actually need and support, of course. But it's not expensive. It's like 60 bucks, I think, or something. Uh, so, and it's called Event Gallery and Shop. There you go. So that was short and sweet, I know, but um, there's not much to it, really. Are there payment plugins for the shop? Do you know? Sorry? Do you know if there are payment plugins for the shop side of it? Uh, I didn't, I don't know. Uh, I think there are. But it's in plugin. PayPal, Braintree, and Stripe. All right. All right. Cool. The, the settings for the settings for within a fold within a gallery. Um, basically, you can choose um, from standard uh, local images, Flickr images, or Amazon S3 images, which is what we were after, um, and uh, folder name, obviously, which we talked about, um, its title, um, who can see it, obviously, you've got a bit of a description, you can have a watermark across every image on the folder. Um, and you've got, um, I'm not sure that these are particularly descriptive, expensive, cheap, or single choice images, um, and whether or not you can have the, the, um, the cart switched on or not uh, for that. Um, also, uh, how the images are sorted, uh, and whether or not you want social sharing, Facebook, Twitter, and, and so on, uh, enabled and whether or not you can disable um, download. So fairly standard gallery features, um, but uh, reasonably reasonably simple. You can password protect a, a particular uh, folder or gallery as well, and start in publishing. So 
reasonably well featured, um, simple layouts, um, and you can definitely upload files straight from here to S3, which is another, another nice uh, sort of function. So that's it, not much to it really, but uh, quite a nice little misnamed uh, module, I think. Component, should I say. Does it only sell the photos? Sorry? Does it only sell the photos? Ah, uh, yeah, so it's basically for image uh, sales. Cool. It must have had, it must have had a specific um, need for it when he wrote, when he wrote it, um, because it's, it's, it's not very general, but it's like, I would say he's had like school photos or some event photographer who's come to him and said, I need to be able to display and people would pick wedding photos or things like that. So, um, yeah, but the fact that it's one of the few things that the, the interface and the way it synchronizes to S3 and creates all the thumbnails and um, loads the images direct from Amazon is quite cool. So that, that's the, sh the show and tell that. Anybody got any burning questions? No? It looks kind of all right as a gallery program. As you say, it's got some um, weird namings there. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't particularly intuitive to start with, but once you sort of understand how, and, and having nested folders, I set up a whole lot of nested folders and then had to back all the, back out of them again. But the fact that you can actually load images directly into the bucket or um, through the um, through the event um, gallery program into the S3 bucket directly, um, that's, uh, kind of nice and neat functionality. So uh, synchronize either. And if you remove, so basically, if I close out of here, if I went into the um, into the folder list, the events list, uh, and removed a folder, if I went into um, so it's, it's, it's delivering me up all of the individual folders which are in um, the Amazon S3 bucket. If we went into the bucket and removed general 2002, um, when we synchronize it, it actually removes the gallery uh, completely and um, all the links to it. it. Doesn't remove the images, but it removes the gallery from the um, interface by the synchronization. It says, oh, that folder doesn't exist anymore, so I'll remove it and all of its um, image links. So mm. pretty smart how it um, does that in the remote files as well. Um, someone's asked Robin, can you use Google Drive as the source? Um, I'm not sure that you can. Uh, I'd have to have to check, but certainly didn't see an option for for Google Drive. Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, as you say, it looks like it was built for something in particular. Yeah, very specific, and and for for and because like when you look at the the order of um, the sequence of that's the the third thing down, local, Flickr, and Amazon S3, you would say he built it to Flickr first and then pushed it out to Amazon S3 as a, as a next request from somebody. Um, so what's Google Photos in comparison okay. to Google Drive? I think Google Photos was the old Picasso. Okay, so if you do 
move your photos to that, you might be able to use your Google account. Uh, possibly. I think it's been discontinued, though, hasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, Picasso's been, right, so Google Photos, whatever they are. It's very Yeah, so. And there's a little 30, 30 photos per gallery on the Google one I see on the, on the cheat sheet. On the free account, yes. But there's no apparent limit on the Amazon S3 one. So. So that is pretty much all I had to show.